Welcome back my gardening friends. Well we're in hashtag starting a new allotment and this is where I planted my fruit trees. Not in a hurry but I did make some mistakes and I want to try and rectify that now while the trees are reasonably dormant. 2018 was very very dry and of course these trees needed watering and I'd got no way of actually watering them other than just putting the water on the surface which meant during the summer the roots came to the surface the roots come to the surface they dry out the tree dies so hopefully I've got these tr uh, trees just in time and now while they're in their dormant state I want to put something in to rectify that and uh, I'll show you now. So what I should have done was when I planted these trees like commercial growers do they put a pipe down the side for easy access to water. The water will go down I'm hoping six or eight inches and that way the roots will go down to find the water during the summer months not too bad at the moment it's absolutely wet through but I was thinking how do I get this in without damaging the roots so I'm going to choose uh, I'm going to use my trusty uh, crowbar the one that I make the holes for the parsnips make a nice big hole and hopefully drop this in so let's see how that goes just uh, get my glove on so I'm going to use the, uh, the point first, so that should do uh, minimal uh, amount of uh, damage. Try not to go down too far before you open the hole up, else you won't get the desired uh, effect. Down to the, uh, the hard bit, I'm just going to open that up a bit now and hopefully that will be enough. It's probably up a little high, but it's uh, down far enough. Must do my stone pick as well. Always let the rain go on first, and you can easily see the stones. But that should do now. I was hoping to put um, the pipes on both rows on the inside, but all the leaves are still there. Won't hurt. So all I need to do now is get my watering can and during the dry months fill it full of water and that can uh, just slowly seep down into the bottom and hopefully keep the trees alive during the summer. Never happy till it's right. No, that'll be uh, so much better. For all those, uh, it goes down quite deep, and I can collect the water from uh, this barrel um, on the, uh, the allotment. I'm just uh, filling these uh, up at the moment. So been topping this up and then filling it up but as you can see 200 litres there and that was all of that water out there before I filled it up so those are definitely 200 litre tanks it's proved a point I'm calling them 180 tanks and they're 200 didn't realize how quick it's emptied these barrels this is just at uh, normal speed so I'll have to remember not to turn me back on this. So I've got uh, nearly all of them in, but as you can see there, when I was watering these, it didn't matter how careful I was, it was exposing the roots and the roots were coming up instead of going down. And moving on to uh, another one, this is the cherry. You can definitely see there some roots and I can't see 
on the screen what I can see looking down the hole but there is several roots there which would have got damaged if I'd have done that any other way so I'm not sure whether you're seeing that but definitely the best way I've found the best way to stop it altogether is to make sure you put the pipe in as and when you plant the tree especially if we know well we don't know we're going to get a dry summer and while we're here you've got to look at these lovely snowdrops those were sent to me from nick that's n-i-c apostrophe s nick's allotment but they are giving a really nice show now The leaks are cut off, they just started to spread. See what happens to those. I've forgotten to uh, show some of my viewers uh, this pump that we used on the uh, drought management. Um, everything speaks for itself. And this cost uh, 12 English pounds and i'm getting some really good use out of it can't see any point in paying a lot more but it's a bilge pump something you'd f find in a canal boat absolutely ideal a short while back um, there was uh, something going around for the five uh, goals for 2019 and I would like one of the goals to be to uh, continue to grow our garden community, help those young, uh, smaller channels out without, of course, falling foul of uh, any YouTube rules uh, uh, talking about subscriptions. So I'll continue to do that because without other people interacting and sharing, we wouldn't be where we are now. Yes, it's another pile of compost. I will also strive to make the best liquid plant foods and compost mixes that I can. I'm very close now. You don't get the quantity, but you do get the quality. And that's what uh, gardening's uh, all about. And another one of my goals will be to continue to show everyone how to reuse, recycle, repurpose things. This was an old litter bin. Cut the top off, welded it to the bottom. Hey presto, costs nothing. And my last one. is to make sure I continue to enjoy my uh, hobby, my growing space, my allotment. It's good for the body and it's good for the mind. I do chill out sometimes guys, you do see me racing around and doing lots, but I do have chill out time. Definitely not gonna share that with you. I was that chilled out I nearly missed this one and that's to get nearly all the no dig beds in place by uh, the end of the year come um, January February of 2020 now if I could edit I could have put <laughs> the one with the cup of coffee after the one with the no dig beds but you get what you see with me guys channel name change i'm currently i changed it currently to robotic allotment gardening uh, on a budget allotment gardening on a budget and i did ask everyone uh, you know because i did feel i needed to change it but the amount of subscribers i've gained in the last um, couple of weeks i'm going to keep it the same so it's going to be robotic allotment gardening on a budget I think <laughs> oh I've lost it okay guys happy gardening to you all till next time my friends ta for now